Arizona's most celebrated heroes is being honored and remembered in the valley. The Lori Piestua National Native American Games kicked off this afternoon. Team 12's Charlie Etsidi shares how Lori's legacy remains alive with these games. Charlie. Mark, it's been over 14 years since Army soldier Lori Piestua was killed in action while serving in Iraq. And over the next several days, a couple thousand athletes from across the country and even Canada and Mexico will compete to honor her, something her parents say she would be proud of. She was a good athlete. She was a good student. She was in ROTC for four years. She was the top female athlete. Disciplined and dedicated from the very beginning, Army soldier Lori Paestua had a warrior spirit and loved to compete. And she was pretty proud of that, but she did not like being recognized. She always stand in the back. Talented yet humble to the core, her parents say a large part of her upbringing was spent in sports. She played all sports. However, her favorite sport was softball, softball. and she was a um, varsity pitcher for the Tuba City Warriors. And more than 14 years ago, Piestawa was killed while serving in Iraq in 2003, the first Native American woman to die in combat. And since her death, this sports competition has been held in her honor, engaging Native of youth in a positive way. I saw it when we had 60 athletes in three sports up in Flagstaff and Tuba City. And at that time, we were wondering if this was going to work or not. Organizers working hard in Lori's memory and this year welcomed 3,300 athletes with an opening ceremony. As we honor the Native American spirit and honor the memory of a great American hero, Sharing Lori's story with the next generation. Oh my gosh, I don't know what she would say. I, I know I'm hoping she's looking down from heaven and saying, okay, I've put my parents on the spot. I've put my brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. I've put my kids on the spot. And hopefully they're willing to take that and run with it and, and do what they need to do to honor me. And the games are all open and free to the public and will be happening at venues all across the valley. We've got all of that information posted for you on our 12 News homepage and also on our 12 News app. We're live from the Alert Center, Charlie at City, 12 News.